We all want the edge. I got something better. The Holy Grail, the mastermind group, right now. You know, if a wife or husband or someone offers you their opinion, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't want to hear. You it. don't really know where that's going to where that can go because it yeah. could be seen as judgmental. And oh my god, there she goes again. And oh my god, you know, and all that, all the drama that goes along. Did he with just say else. I look fat? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? <laughs> You know, see, I, I'm, I'm big into watching like YouTube videos and, and listening to different types of instructional stuff. And that's good, but it's not great because you're still your only sounding board is you. And that's mm-hmm. the biggest problem that you're in a room. You're still alone, even though information's coming in. You're, we still process things the same way. And when you have three or four other people looking at you and listening to you and listening to the tone of your voice and seeing what road you're going down, it's so easy. To, I can tell instantly when one of you are going off the track. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Instantly. It's harder to do on myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, totally. Doing it over a video conference because we're all in different areas, mm-hmm. I think is, is so fantastic. Hi, I'm Steve from LifeMasteryPodcast.com. I'm here with Greg Sutphin. Hey, man, what's happening? Yo, nothing. Same old, same old, you know, just yeah. working hard. Yeah, you know, I thought we'd talk about uh, our mastermind group. What do you think? Want to talk about it? I, I can't even begin to express how it has just helped me get to a next level without even doing anything. Just thinking about it hmm. made me start looking back into, you know, listening to, to tapes and hmm. reading books. And my life was fine. You know, everything was just status quo. I couldn't complain about a thing. I feel so much more elevated. Hmm. I can't even explain it. Great just, word. And I was reluctant when you started bringing it up. I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, geez. Okay, fine. You know, I'll do it, whatever. And man, after that first meeting we had, I just, I just felt just jazzed up again, alive mm. again. Like, oh my God, yeah. I could do anything. So yeah, that's I, the Brian. Yeah. Brian Tracy says that. Yes. Yes. Brian Tracy no, says I, you can make a list, but if you don't put time correspondence to the list, mm you know, you're not going to get it all done in one day. Yes. I'm going to take my existing, my existing to-do list, my existing worksheet. And I do have Monday through Friday here. And and I have things that are specific that day. Yet virtually none of them get done unless I've scheduled it out, which um, I'm going to rework this. And I'm going to say, you've already written them down. Now it's, it's 9 a.m. Which one of these get done at 9 a.m.? Now, I've been surfing all over the web, trying to find different formats for the mastermind over the past two years. And Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, there isn't a lot of information. And until you try it out to see what really works, you really don't know for sure. I mean, the format that we're using really seems to work pretty well. You know, Uh, in our case, it's a business mastermind, but this could be anything. It could be a a health and fitness mastermind. It could be anything, you know. Do you feel yourself getting off course and then all of a sudden the meeting comes around and you're like, boom, you're right back in again? I mean, have you fallen? If you see that? Yeah, 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 totally, totally. You know, like, because, you know, the weekends come and and then you have, you know, the the week and, and, you know, life gets in the way and you know i have a full-time job and i have the side business and you know and, and everything else going on and mm. you lose a few days yeah yeah but then you think about you know oh my god i've got this meeting coming up and mm. like the first the second meeting we were having i'm like oh my god i gotta make a phone call i literally desperately made a cold call just so i had something to say in the meeting <laughs> that's great <laughs> I do, so, i've been doing the same thing <laughs> yeah and um it's it's funny because i'm almost you know i have a full-time job so I go to work every day and I go in an hour early and I'm almost isolated now because I use that hour to, to do other, to do our stuff, mm. do stuff mm. through the group. And I just feel so good. You know, I'm, I'm just empowering myself. You know what it is with me? The internal talk, the dialogue inside my head has changed. You know, yeah, 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 you yeah. think about you have to do that. You got you to gotta call 10 people today to try to solicit work. You know, it's our biggest fear, right? And then you say to yourself, oh, man, I really don't want to do this. I'll do it tomorrow. You think of a lot of excuses. And then you get that, that feeling in the pit of your stomach. And you're like, oh, man. I really... And so you think of excuses. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting. With the Mastermind Group, you know, I went online and I went on YouTube. And I, I, I pulled up videos on people that, you know, solicit other people. <laughs> and, and after watching so many of them, it was almost like I was doing it myself. It felt natural after that. So I just picked up the phone and started, you know, calling yeah. People cold. And it, I'll tell you, it was so much easier. But, you know, our group meets on Tuesday night. And I'll tell you, Monday morning I wake up and I'm like, I look at my list and, you know, if I didn't get it enough done, I'll just... 
bang it out, you know, because I, I don't want to disappoint on, on Tuesday night. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Tuesday, Tuesdays, it's good not having it on a Monday because <laughs> we'd all be we'd all be in a different state of mind coming off of a weekend. Totally. So it gives us that one day to yeah. like shove some stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but but I got to tell you, it's put me back on track with what I've always wanted to do. Mm. And I always, you know, what, you listen to Tony Robbins and, you know, he talks about, you know, that day that never comes, mm. you know, the would have's and the should have's. Sure. And I'm always I'm always like, I'll get around to it. You know, I just want to I want to. I want to go to the gym now, or I want to focus on this now. I want to focus on that. And, I, and I, you know, I just finally feel real. Yeah. I, I can't think of a better word. Well, it's, just- it's, it's, isn't it being more true to ourselves? Because we know what we want. And when we're not doing it, we feel fear or, or discontent or something. And then we have that internal chatter and those internal negative feelings. They're always there. I mean, this kind of pushes those out, I found. Well, well, yeah. But, you know, you don't know what those... You distract yourself with things. True, exactly. And, but they're and still there, you though. You realize that anxiety, that little yes. bit of whatever's going on inside. You don't associate it with, you know, that you're not doing what you think Great you should point. be doing. Great point. You don't feel it, especially over time, doesn't it? Just it becomes a that that feeling becomes a part of you, and it's almost yeah. like you don't even acknowledge it anymore. But it's there, and it's dictating what we say, what we do, what we don't do, what we don't say. And yes, a hundred percent. And it's funny because. I've realized you don't really feel alive because mm. you're just, my life is status quo. It's fine. Mm. Everything's just fine. There's no problems. <laughs> the, the worst word in the English language. The worst language, word. And Tim, and I Tim just, said I just it English, during, our, yeah. during our group meetings. Tim said it to me, you know, the, um, what is that about? Um, good is the enemy of great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's and good. it's true because my life is good. <laughs> I can't compl- I make good money. I have a yeah. good job. I have a side business. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm yeah. dating and, and yeah. life is just, yeah. I got no problems. Yeah, yeah. But I hate that Everything word fine. Was just status quo. It that's was like fine. You, that's like when your kid comes home and you ask, how, how is school? Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I think yeah. of whenever I hear fine. Fine. But, it, but until we started doing this group. Yeah. And I was, I kind of, again, I was kind of like, oh, geez. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I, I was so jazzed up about it. I have literally, I may have gone off course, yeah. you know, here and there, but I always come back now. Well, isn't that great though? It's almost like, it's almost like a weekly reset because life is going to keep kicking us off and that's all there is to it. And, and some of us will allow that to happen and then we'll, we'll find out for sure who's really going to stick with this and who isn't. That's really what it comes down to. I mean, we all have to be ready for this. You know, I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. I could tell like, because you're on time or early every single meeting and we're communicating throughout the week. Isn't that interesting? We have a, a texting group so we can text each other and we can just get our little shots in and, and mentions of what we've done throughout throughout the week. So we're not coming in cold every week, you know? So I was like, oh man, I haven't talked to you in a week. Oh, what's up, you know? No, yeah. we, we know we can kind of chart the progress of each other along the way. Isn't that great? And, and don't you think that's helpful too? Because, you know, we need it like every day, every couple of days. Otherwise life's going to keep kicking our asses. It really is. It, and it does. It does. And, and even just, and not in a bad way. Right. You know, just, you know, things come up, you're going on a, on a trip with a friend or the wife or, or whatever. And, you know, and then a few days go by and then a week goes by and then, then a month goes by and then 10 years go by. Yeah, exactly. You know, just even, even the good things throw you off course. Mm, the bad things yes. definitely do, but yes. so do the good things. People don't notice it. Skill set you have right now, does anybody hire people who have your skill set right, right now? <laughs> yes. People that get come recommended to me through other clients. Uh huh. But you know what? That's what I need to do. You just you just hit the nail on the well, head. That's why I, I, we're all thinking the same thing, except you, Greg. That's why. No, 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 I, no, no, no. I, what, I, what I need to do is I need to I need to reach out to all my clients. That's all I need to do right now. Mm-hmm. When I would read Think and Grow Rich, and I've read it a few times, and I've never really done the discipline every morning and every night. Yeah. I envisioned a mastermind group as like, say, four people that are focused on one goal. Hmm. I didn't look at it, and you made me see that, that it's four people with separate goals. Hmm. Businesses, you have a board of directors. That's a think tank. You know, that's a mastermind in a sense, all working towards a common goal, you know, making more money for the company or whatever it is, you know. I really like this better. I mean, for us, obviously, it fits because uh, we all have separate goals. And what's interesting, I find also is that you can get opinions from three, two, three, four different people 
that don't mind giving you their opinions. And we're, the environment here is to share and to give, offer opinions. You know, if a wife or husband or someone offers you their opinion, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't want to hear you, it. You don't really know where that's going to where that can go because it yeah. could be seen as judgmental. And oh my god, there she goes again. And oh my god, you know, <laughs> and all that, all the drama that goes along. Did he with just all say I look fat? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so funny. But but you know but. That's helpful too. You know, you can't say, but what, but this is great because the dynamic we've created is one of sharing. And, yeah. and just because we give opinions doesn't mean it's the right opinion. But when you get three other opinions, you know, you can call what kind of weight against your brain now. You're not just bouncing your own suggestions off your own head. You know, see, I, I'm, I'm big into watching like YouTube videos and, and listening to different types of instructional stuff. And that's Good, but it's not great because you're, so you're, st you're still your only sounding board is you. And that's mm -hmm. the biggest problem, that you're in a room, you're still alone. Even though information's coming in, you're, we still process things the same way. And when you have three or four other people looking at you and listening to you and listening to the tone of your voice and seeing what road you're going down, it's so easy. To, I can tell instantly when one of you are going off the track. <laughs> Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. Instantly. It's harder to do on myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, totally. Doing it over a video conference because we're all in different areas, mm. I think is, is so fantastic. Because, yeah. you know, to go anywhere, even to go to the gym, you know, it's, you know, half an hour prep before, mm. you know, an hour class. Sure. And then, you know, coming, you know, getting out of the gym and getting home. It's like two hours. Definitely. You know, yeah. if you had to go to meet with a group, Mm. It could be two or three hours. And that's what happened, too, because my first two groups met here mm -hmm. at, at my studio in Dix Hills. And, and then it falls apart because people just... Right. You can't sustain it because it, it's not easy. They say you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. I mean, come on. Who do you spend time with? <laughs> you know, yeah, you got to yeah, take a yeah, close look. We all yeah. got to take a close look at that. And if, and if you're... At the height of, you know, in other words, if, if, if you're kind of here and the other four people are kind of not below you, but haven't, has, haven't achieved as much, let's put it that way, uh, that's not healthy for you. No, <laughs> you know, we not, need to be in the no. middle of the pack, the lower middle, that kind of thing. So that way people can bring us up, you know, and we can help people that are still coming up, you know, to our level. Yeah, there is at different levels at different times, you know. That's why yeah. I like this, this group is great. We're all creative. Yeah, it, and it's, it, the, I remember talking to you about the very beginning when you had us fill out those forms, you know, just like what, two or three questions. Yeah. And when I read everybody else's, it just, it just was like a wave came over me of like, wow, everybody has the same exact fears uh -huh. in different ways, but it's still like, I could read into it and I go, Oh my God. Wasn't that fascinating? And I'm so glad you brought that up. I, you know, I had kind of forgotten about that. But yes, it's fear runs through everything. The fear of get, of, of approaching of whatever it is, whatever it's it is. always a fear. Always, always. And, yeah, and it made me, you know, when I, I started writing it, and again, I was in, you know, that oh, geez, here we go. It's stupid questions. And yeah, then, I, and I knew I was doing that to everybody, but I yeah. knew we'd see it right away. We have well, we have to just define where we want to where we want to be. We have to define yeah. where we are and where we want to be. I mean, it's a given. You have to. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm going to say the last thing I'm going to say about this is it has made me focus so much more. It has made me read so much more. It has made me just even if I do a little like the compound effect, like one percent a day. I just know that it's it's just building and building and building. I may not make it to next meeting and have everything that I said accomplished, and I'm not going to beat myself up over it mm. because I know that I'm putting effort in mm. constantly. If it's an hour in the morning, and then when I get home, it's an hour here, or if it's at work, and I'm sure. you know I take some time to focus on you know read something or just while I'm driving, mm. I think about you know where I want to be, what I want to accomplish, mm. and you know what I want to contribute and give back. I'm just constantly in that zone. Mm, yeah. This is not networking. This is not therapy. This is a very structured, business-like situation. We start on time. Each person gets 15 to 20 minutes to discuss what's happened over the past seven days. Then we go through and we each focus on each person individually. You know, we give our input. And then we go around the table again and we'll go another five minutes with each person. And we'll decide what we're each going to do for the week coming up. And then we write those tasks down. The best thing about the meetings is I get more out of everybody else's 20 minutes. Mm. Listening to where everybody is, you don't get conversation like that. Right. In in your in your general life. Yeah. 
even at work, you know, it's focused at, on one thing. This is hearing dynamics from other people and, and you can relate to some things and some things are new and some things are like, oh, my God. And I, I love listening to everybody else's 20 minutes. Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's a, for, for me, it's an hour of understanding other people's issues and mm. uh, triumphs and and um, mistakes. Mm. And it helps me. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And, and you, that's and you brought, great. And you brought up the compound effect. Great book, by the way. Excellent book. And uh, that's sort of what we're doing here. We're doing incremental changes over the course of time consistently towards a goal that we've already identified and quantified. And then the task we choose to help obtain that goal brings us closer and closer. Without that, it's almost imp- I don't understand how anything could get done. I really don't understand how th- – it's just throwing caution to the wind. I mean, you know, I don't get it. Uh, but you don't get it until you're in this group. Yeah, yeah, great point. Great point. You know, uh, well, you, you, you don't think about getting it because mm. it's just like everybody – and I, I've spent my whole life – you know, like, okay, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. And I accomplish things, but, you, you know, I'll get to that, I'll get to that, get to that. And then and another decade goes by. Sure, sure. And until you're in a group like this, it doesn't really resonate. Yeah, I think that's what's great about something like this. We, everybody knows they should have goals. And um, with something like this is, it, all we do is focus on that one goal. Yeah. We don't get yeah. that anywhere else. I mean, because no. I'll tell you. This has helped me only because I know that I would have been pushed off course so many times in the past month or so, so many times. And it's so easy to say next week or tomorrow, I'll do that. And before you know it, that adds up over time. It's great. This is the compound effect. When something adds up day after day after day, we really don't know what else is going to come positively as a result of that. We made five phone calls. Maybe we got a new client. Okay, that's quantifiable. But we don't know what the relationship with that person is going to be where he'll tell two friends and he'll tell two friends and so on and so and on. It yeah, it's, exactly. It, so this is positive energy. I mean, otherwise, what do you have? The negative energy in your head. Oh, it's another Monday. Oh, Monday suck. Oh, you know, and that's, you know, that's how we start the day. And oh, yeah, I got to wait on line for Starbucks hey, again. By the way, Mondays do suck. They do suck. I don't but, care. Uh, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> the fog has been lifted. I'm just yeah. doing, you know, things that make me feel empowered as a human being. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, taking action and, uh, oh. It, it, it just makes your life really feel is. more complete at the yeah. end of the day. Mm. Yeah. You know, I mean, I have done stuff around my house that I've been putting off. Mm. And and I have the time and I have the energy. Whereas six months ago, I was like, ah. Yeah. And it's all because I'm, I'm just energized because of this group. And that's great. That's, that's so great to hear because now I know, and I've known this for a few weeks now, I know you're a perfect match for this now. I already know. <laughs> the timing is right. You're yeah, in the right yeah. place. You know what I mean? It's all about timing. I mean, we we tried this, come on, what is it, like 30 years, 25 years ago? Did we tried this uh-huh. once? Right, I think I think I remember, but it's it, Ed was there. We ended up drinking or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we tried it, <laughs> and it ended up being because we didn't. Uh, here we go. Per- perfect example of what a mastermind is and what it isn't. We got together at my house. This house it had to be the early '90s, something like that, and uh, we got off course because there was no structure. It was a mastermind meeting. <laughs> it was like six of us, you know, uh, five or six of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ed was we there. Your like friend Ed was there. And, and yeah. And before you know it, we're going out drinking and then going to see, to see bands play. And I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> and now we wait. Now, think about it. What would have happened if we stayed on that all these years? Could you only imagine how much oh, further oh, would oh, we have been? Group. I thought you meant, you know. No, if we actually did what we had started out to do oh in the God. early 90s. Uh, you know, we, we, we were at a crossroad there. We, you know, like, like we had it. We had a taste of it. And we'll, we yeah. just went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just went which, way off course. Which is 99% of the population. Exactly. I mean, you know, the 1% are, you know, start, even start in, in, in their teens. And mm. they're just, they're driven and they're focused. And, and yeah. it's not a, not a problem for them. Mm. For the rest of us, if you read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon mm. Hill, he'll say most people do not become successful until their 40s or, and yeah. or 50s. Yeah. Me, my position would be like, I would reverse the whole thing. I would call them up and thank them for that, for sending that new customer to you. <laughs> and when they go like what like yeah you sent me Tim Ryan he said it was you <laughs> that I missed am I, that I mishear him thanks man just get to a conversation about sending clients 
It's great as long that's, as it doesn't That's not up. horrible. That's not horrible. <laughs> you're busy partying in your 20s. Yeah. You're busy having a family in your late 20s, early 30s. Mm-hmm. And then you, you finally get around to saying, oh my God, what am I been doing? You know, I know. Three decades just went by. And there's I another part, I think there's another part to that also. Because although ours is a, bi- a business mastermind, the whole idea is to be happy with where you are, but still aim for the stars. Yeah, it's not one yes. or the other, and I think one of the things we we find in our forties and fifties, when, when you know when you say success, what I've have found is more peace, well, much more peace. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I was yeah, an animal true, yeah. in my thirties and in my twenties and thirties and forties in my mind. You know, I was just devouring everything. I was, you know, I had my 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 good points and my bad points, but you know, quite a few bad points that I'm glad I worked out. <laughs> so uh, as far as yeah, so as far as my fifties go. I, Start arranging your life in a way that's going to be more pleasing to you. You know, paying your bills on time, putting money away for a rainy day. It rains on Long Island every week. <laughs> and I'll tell you, you know, things hit you every week. And for the people that do not put money away for a rainy day, holy crap, you are just asking for a boatload of shit in your life and continuing. And then, of course, the credit card debt goes up. And, and there are masterminds based around finance, too, personal finance, where people get together and they discuss their finances and what they could do to get ahead. It's different than reading a book or going on YouTube, which I love more than anything. It's a different dynamic. You're getting p- feedback from human beings <laughs> yeah. that get to know yeah. you and get to know when you're s- trying to wiggle out of something and they know when you're very positive, they know when you're blowing s- smoke up your own ass, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that feedback allows you to make changes immediately and continue to move in that direction. Otherwise, we'll get derailed constantly. The hour and a half that we spend together once a week the three of you, you, Tim and Dan, just you see me saying stuff and you all just you just you just all smack me. It's like, no, 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 Greg, that. And it's like, OK, you're hiding, you're hiding, you're hiding, you're hiding. Because, yeah, you're hiding. And literally, you know, that's what we could say to ourselves if there's nobody holding us accountable. And isn't that great, though, in this situation that we have? we're more likely to listen also because of the dynamic we have here, the mastermind group. If we were just hanging out and I said, you know, Greg, what the f- you don't? We're more, much more receptive in a, to hearing things within this group, within a, master, a mastermind group, don't you think, uh, compared to yeah. at work or at home or from a, you know what I mean? Yeah, and if it somebody says it. something to you like, you know, what are you doing? Or, you know, you could take it as a joke. You could mm. take it as an insult. You could take it as something other than what it's supposed to be. Sure, that too. Oh, definitely. You know, because it's not inside a, a mm. structure of a mastermind group mm. where you know what your purpose is. Yes, yes, You know, yes. somebody says something to you and you just insult it or, you know, or you think it's a joke and you, you, you brush it off. Mm. Good you know? point. It makes sense. On every level I can possibly consider whenever I think about this. It just totally yeah, makes yeah. Plus, we see and what I, it's doing. I think I've thanked you a few times for, for <laughs> actually, you know, uh, just getting me back in, involved. And I remember you talking to me about this like two years ago. And yeah. I was like, ah, I know, I nah, know. Yeah, I no, know. I, ain't, nah, I ain't doing no mastermind group. Yeah. Because yeah. you, the other thing is people don't want to be in a group like this because they don't want to see the truth. They yeah, don't want to see, point. they don't want to have the, the, the veil unveiled a hundred years ago in your house. You said something to me about me that I just felt so dark inside. I was like, Oh my God, he's so right. It was horrible. And it was all about me and I hated it. And then I literally was uplifted because I said, He's right. And, and I need to do something about it. Because it was something about, you know, Greg, this is going to take you years to fix this. Mm. And I thought about it. And you were right. And it was like a weight on top of me. But then it was yeah. like, but I know now so I can fix it. Mm. I can work on it. I can make it better. And it changed part of my life. Something like this could change your life Definitely. forever. We're really, we're all looking for the same thing in life. We're looking for happiness. We're looking for more money. We're looking for connections with people. Whether we know it or not, we're all looking for the same thing. Some people do excessive drinking for that. Some people party a lot more than others. You know, some people, you know, we're all looking for it, but how we go about it makes a huge difference as to how well we're going to do in life. Don't you think? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Everybody's looking for the same thing in life, and some people go about it by drinking. Right, because it makes you happy temporarily. Oh, so you're saying that, you know, everybody's sure, it's in a bottle. For happiness. It's in a People bottle. Are looking, sure, what are they definitely. Look, but, 
But what did you said? What are they looking? What is everybody all? What is every single person looking for? Peace, happiness, peace. Yeah. Amen to the uh, Mastermind Alliance group. I can't think of a better way to end this, Greg. <laughs> I couldn't be happier, uh, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow's meeting. And this is great. It's just, it's really, it has changed me. Mm. Not my life. I'm mm. going to change my life. Mm, good for you. But the mastermind gro- group has helped me to change me. Mm. That's going to be happier. And if anybody out there is interested in joining one, I'll put some information down below where you can contact us. And uh, we're putting together groups like this. The mastermind group, if nothing else, has made me a better person. Perfect place to end this.